OK? Yeah, more or less, cheers. Last night, I kind of thought Kelly might have come back with us. Yeah, no. I guess you'd prefer her own fam. She wouldn't have stayed if she didn't want to make a go of it. Mm. Yeah, well, the thing is with Kelly, everything's got a price, a condition. All these years, I've stood by her. And after what she's done to me, let her walk all over me. Maybe that's why you're going wrong. Well, you're saying I should put my foot down and tell her where to get off? I don't know, Roy, it's your marriage. Yeah. I would, Cathy, but to, to be honest with you, I'm frightened of losing her. Probably gonna think I'm mad, but I reckon I'm only chance she's got of being happy. Yeah? Could be right. There's plenty of people that'd have her. There's not many people that'd stay with her now after everything we've been through. What does she want? Mm -hmm. She said she'd stay if I found somewhere decent to live. And if you did, do you think you'd make things work? It's only chance I got, isn't it? Well, there is somewhere. I mean, I don't know if you'd want to. Where? Here. Why not? I rattle around on my own, and if it gives you and Kelly the chance to sort all this out... Are you serious? Yes. I don't know. C can, I go, can I go tell her now? I think you'd better. <laughs> Cathy. Thank you. I'm not going to forget go, this. Oh, go on. What's Chris up to in Hamburg, then? I don't know. Business, I suppose. In Hamburg? Meaning? Well, it's like Amsterdam and Bangkok all rolled into one, isn't it? In what way, exactly? Well, I'd say the red light district out of Hamburg and it doesn't leave much worth visiting. You seem a bit of an expert, Frankie. At least that's what the other drivers tell me. Oh, that bed. I slept like a baby. Comfy, was it? Well, I thought I'd be waking up in London now, in Chris's mate's place. Chris's mate? Well, that was good of him to set that up for you. Yeah, well, him and Zoe have been really kind to me. Don't know if I deserve it, really. Oh, I'm sure you do. Um, so when do you think you'll be starting back at the surgery? Actually, I meant to tell you, I ain't going back to the vets. Oh. Well, it's nothing personal. I ain't going back to the shop either. I just want a clean break, you know, start again. Good idea, that. Oh, I've left the bath running. Nothing better than a nice long soak, is there? So, did she and Chris have a bit of a thing together? What makes you say that? Just a generous side of him I've not seen before. Seems to have done so much for her. So, Zoe. I think if you've got any questions about Chris's private life, you should address them to him, don't you? I'm late. Morning. Oh, you give me a shock. So it seems. I was just drying my shirt on the oven. I thought I heard you go out. Uh, no, uh, that was Jack. All oh, right. You'll freeze to death. Yeah. yeah. Richie. Lock up. Gotta get ready for work. Yep. I can't wait much longer, Butch. I'll be late for work. Nearly ready now. That's uh, jumping love. I hope her cooking's better than it used to be, Dad. Well, well I best get off now. Oh, but you've not eaten. No. Watching your weight, are you? You've no need to worry. Zach always did like a bit of something to grab hold of. Uh, <clears throat> no, I'll pick something up from the village. I'll have your tea on when you get back. No, we'll have something out of the freezer, shall we? Bye, love. Uh, Nelly, the smoke coming off your sausages. Oh, flaming it! Mum, uh... Mom, uh... We're going to have to get off and all. Uh, Emily's going to be late for work. Don't blame me. Shall I do your doggy bag? Uh, no. Look, uh, my dad's famished. Give it him. See you. You've landed on your feet there, Zach. I really like her. Ah, she's all right, is Lisa. Look at you. Don't seem like a day since it were our butch bouncing up and down on your knee, being sick in your cap. Hi. Father again at your age. Ah, who'd have thought it, eh? <laughs> You'd say if I was in the way, wouldn't you, Zach? Yeah, of course I would. Don't go worrying about that. I've made some mistakes in my time. Yeah, well, we don't want to go into all that now. <laughs> I knew I could count on you to see me right. Well, you're still family, Nelly. 
Hey, this is nice, isn't it? Got you to myself again. Hey, I hope you've got a big appetite. <laughs> oh, no, me flaming fry up! Blimey. You made yourself at home a bit, haven't you? I've been sitting here imagining it was ours. And then I remembered you're just a garage mechanic and we never afford anything half as nice. Yeah, well, I just might have sorted something out. Short term. What? A bus shelter or upstairs at Seven Betty's? Better than that. Well, where? Cathy's. What? Well, she said we can move in with her. And it's next best thing uh, to having a place of his own. She's practically family. Exactly. Well, what's your problem? Well, we tried living with mine and look where that got us. Oh, come on, Kel. Talk about looking a gift, Dawes. Look, if we're going to give this another go, we need to have a place of our own. That means you and me, alone. Oh, this ain't going to last forever, Kelly. It's just till I find the right place. And where's that going to be on your wages? This place ain't for the likes of me and you. I tell you something, you should set your sights a bit lower. Or for heaven's above, not in world's going to be good enough for you. Yes, it is. I am bending over backwards trying to give you what you want, Kelly, and he's all you're doing is throwing it back in my face. I'm sure you will find us somewhere to live. Eventually. But it won't be at Cathy's. So what am I going to tell him then? You'll think of something. Sometimes I am this close to giving up on you. I really am. What's got into him then? He has a little rant now and then. Bottom line is he'd do anything to try and make it work between us. Yeah? Looks like he's on hiding to nothing from where I'm standing. Well, she should sleep for a bit now. She's got you house trained. You're a new man, Zach Dingle. Oh, and all the more handsome for it. Come and sit down. No, nah, best not, eh? Sit. So, do you love her more than you loved me? Now, what kind of a question is that? Do you know, there's hardly been a day I've not cursed myself for chucking it all away. You, me and the kids. Oh, I was a foolish woman, Zach. But I'm paying for it with every living breath. Give over. I should have known you'd be snapped up. Eligible fella like you. Well, you've hardly gone without yourself. But we had some times, though, didn't we, eh? Remember when our Tina were a nipper? Oh, apple of her father's eye. Over to her basket every five minutes, check she was still breathing. <laughs> yeah, and she grew up and beg it off and we never hear a word. Then when we found out about Sam, you know... You went out to chickens and cried for an hour because you didn't want me to see you. Nelly. And then when we lost our Ben. Look, none of this is going to do any good, you know. It's the past. We're different folk now. But we stuck by each other. Good times and bad. We were a family, together. Nelly! You walked out on us. And a small part of me went right along with you. And I'll always be with you. But I'm with Lisa now. And you can never turn the clock back. Listen out for Bell, would you? Project. Been sent out to do some research. Oh, what on? Corner shops? No, uh, Valentine's, isn't it, Donna? Yeah. Uh, 14th of February. Day of romance or commercial exploitation? Discuss. All right. How many will you be sending then this year? It's none of your business. But your donors don't know then, shall I? Emily? Me? We've at least got to send one to Butch. Have I? Don't really hold with it myself. I'd rather have a box of chocolates or a bottle of wine. You're underage. I could get my scarf. You going to the after Disney act night, Emily? The what? Oh, Emily's not interested in that kind of thing, are you, Emily? I don't know. I might be. I'll have to ask Butch. I need a bit more sugar in my tea. <laughs> so a lot of these, Mrs Windsor. Well, you'd be surprised who comes in here and buys them. They go like hotcakes. Really? Some of the words inside, they're dead romantic. Roses are red, violets are blue, that kind of thing. All kinds of people wrote poems for inside cards, you know. Shelley, 
word with? To name but two. Really? Still somebody your age. What would you know about romance? Spect you've had plenty in your time, haven't you, Mrs Windsor? Tell Donna I'm waiting outside. He's laughing at us. But hoping St Albans would give us something to go on. <sighs> it's anywhere. Apart from when he found out you'd gone, never have I seen a man look more guilty. No, oh, he's guilty, all right. He'll slip up before too long, mark my words. I'm going to have it out with him. Tell him we know, see what he does. Marlon, we've only got one chance. Marlon, we can't afford to make a mistake. In the meantime, Kathy's spending time alone with a bloke who's murdered at least two women that we know of. She's safe as long as he knows we're watching. Let's just see what he does. Marlon, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Marlon! Graham! We're coming after you, you know. Not you as well. What are you trying to do to me? Go on, keep walking. Keep walking. You can run, but you can't hide. I haven't done anything. You killed your wife. You killed Rachel. You're gonna try and do away with Kathy now, are you? I would never do anything to hurt Kathy. So why don't you just go? Get out of her life. Then we'd all be happy. I love her. And she's perfectly safe while I'm here to protect her. So why can't you just leave us alone? It's not just Pollard now, Graham. It's me and all. And it won't be long before everybody knows the truth about you. Your days are numbered, mate. And once the word's out, you better pray the police gets you before we do. supposed to be in Wolverhampton. Back early. Roads are clear. Oh. So, what have you got for me now? What, you after brownie points or something? Yeah, well, after the misunderstanding with me and your daughter, I just wanted to try and make it up, you know, show I'm not all bad. Mm. Well, the road to is full. Come back tomorrow. Hi. Holly's your daughter, so this one must be the real secretary, right? Hi. This one's director of the company, and you are? <laughs> Done it again. Mike Blake, driver, soon to be ex driver. If I keep this up, I'll see you tomorrow. Where on earth do you find them? Oh, he's good at his job. He just needs keeping an eye on. What's that? Oh, nothing. You're not much of a team player, are you, Sean? Look, if Chris heard about this now, he'd block it. Frankly, it's too good to risk. Try me. All right. One bus to the supermarket. Look at our profit. Now multiply that by 10, 20. We're in the Yorkshire Dales. We get visitors all year round. So we do a deal with the tourist board, with local hotels, and we corner the market. How long have you spent on this? I've only just started. I'm sure it's a winner. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't like it. <clears throat> I just want to know what we're up against and if we can beat them. We can. In that case, why didn't you think of this before? What about Chris? It's a good idea. He's bound to go for it. I knew moving to the country wasn't going to be easy, but... But what? Well, I hoped people might have started to accept me by now. What's happened now? Oh, I think that some people just don't want to see us happy together. Perhaps it's jealousy. What? Well, it's not hard to see why. <laughs> you, you're attractive, <sighs> successful business. I think some of the smaller-minded among us resent anyone doing well. Oh, I haven't found that to be true, personally. There are people in the village who want what you've got for themselves. <laughs> who? Eric Pollard and Martin, oh, for a start. Oh, come on, Graham. I'm serious. Oh, I know they come across as a couple of harmless buffoons, but I think they're up to something quite sinister. Like what? Undermining our relationship. Spreading ridiculous rumours, <laughs> trying to, to poison people against us. What would be the point? Oh, come off it, Cathy. 
I would have thought that would be perfectly obvious. Both of them have tried it before and nearly succeeded. They're after the diner, and they don't care who they have to walk over to get it. I want it to be the best night the Woolpack has ever seen. I want you to pull out all the stops and I don't care how much it costs. Well, I can cut a few corners here and there. Marlon, nothing but the best, do you hear me? Oysters, champagne, I want it to be a night that's talked about for years and I don't care how much of a loss we make. Make a loss? <laughs> you going to your mind? Or... Marlon, just do it, would you? What's going to her? What's the date on Monday? February 14th, why? Ring any bells? Valentine. It was the day her and Gavin were going to get married. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, love. Hello. Hello, darling. Nice day at the office. You at least are not joining us, then? Well, she usually nips off to screw up before coming out, you know. Can't say I'd noticed. Nelly. Uh, Dad, have you seen what's happening in the Woolly on Monday night? They're having a, an afro night. Afro dizzy act, you pillock. What, what, what exactly is it? It's, er... Uh, it's my round. My dad'll tell you, won't you, Dad? Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac, right, then. Uh, well, where do we start? <laughs> There's no use looking at me. I can't see to me, Mum, Mummy. You've done very well. How's your work going, Richie? Well, it's fine, you know. Not that I even pretend to understand what you do. Computers are simple. Anyone could do my job. Yeah, not me. <clears throat> that was great, love. Thanks. You're having some kind of do on at the Woolpack on Valentine's night. Wonder if you fancy going. Me? Oh, yeah. I wasn't asking Richie. No offence. It is good to have a night out. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. Can we go watch telly now? We're finished. Yeah, I've got some homework doing for tomorrow. Hang on, hang on. I need a hand to shift some hay out the barn. Won't take long. Can I help? No, you've been grafting all day, lad. So have I. Come on, you two. Out. Um... You took your time. Where have you been? Hey, I wanted to wait till course was cleared, didn't I? Where's she gone? Well, I told her about, you know, Monday night. Yeah. And she went white and went home, said she had an headache. Nice one, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> Suppose I better go and find her, aren't I? Yeah. Good luck. Theme nights at the Woolly. Kind of thing you and I would have had a right old laugh at. Uh. Just like old times, eh? A few drinks, maybe a dance. They say our love won't pay the rent Before it's due, our money's always spent, babe <coughs> Stagger home and Bob's your uncle Hey, what do you say? Make a night of it, eh? How long are you stopping? You still here Monday? I am if you want me Brilliant. You can babysit So that me and Lisa don't have to worry about getting back early Look, Cathy, I think there's something we really ought to discuss. I thought we'd come in for a quiet drink. Uh, do you mind if I, if I join you? Well, no, actually... No, no, not at all. Sit down. Where's Kelly? I don't know. I wonder if I've got mail up at Manor for all I know. Did you tell her about the offer? Yeah. And? She turned it down flat. She didn't even have to think. Oh, Roy, I'm... I'm so sorry, I... But I'll leave you to it. You've obviously got important things to discuss. All right. See you tomorrow, then. Did I come out of that time? No, no, far from it. So, what do you do now? I really don't know, Cathy. I've tried everything to try and make her happy, but not works. What do you think I should do? Do you really want to know? I don't think she's good enough for you, Roy. If I were you, I'd finish it before she ends up making both your lives a misery. I heard you come down. 
couldn't sleep. Jack's dead to the world. I can't stop thinking about you. You as well. I've tried to, I mean, it's not exactly convenient, is it? All the way through dinner, I kept thinking, Jack knows, he must do. Knows what? How I feel about you. How do you feel about me? Confused, a bit scared. I'm really not sure we should be doing this. I know we shouldn't. But I can't help it, Sarah. Richie, do you know how old I am? What's that got to do with anything? I've got three children. Robert's not much younger than you. What is it you're expecting to happen between us? I must stop to think about it. I've done little else. I think maybe I should go. For you, I mean. Give us both a chance to cool off. I'll make an excuse to Jack and I'll leave tomorrow. No, don't. Please, I don't want you to go. We're risking a hell of a lot here. We are. I could lose my family, my home, and I don't even know what it is you want from me. All I know is that when I'm with you, I just feel... I don't know, but whenever I'm not with you, I want to be. I've never had this before, Sarah. It just wants to be together. It just feels right. You should be with someone your own age. I should be with someone who makes me feel like you do. You're so lovely and bright and funny. And anybody who can't stand Viv wins is all right by me. Have you any idea what it is you're letting yourself in for? No. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I know I've got no right to feel like this, and I don't want to break anything up. You know that. Look, I'll leave tomorrow, before things get out of hand. It's already too late for that, Richie. <laughs> 